Hello friends! Today you will see how famous actresses of the 70s have changed. See how they look then and now and also their names and age. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Linda Gray got her big break in a very unusual way. She portrayed Mrs. Robinson's body double in The Graduate. Her breakthrough acting role came as Sue Allen on Dallas. Her most recent on-screen appearance was in 2017 on two episodes of Hand of God. Jessica Lange made her professional film debut in 1976 King Kong. The film was a box office hit but was dismissed by film critics. Having worked in film, theater and television, Lang has been the recipient of several awards, including two Academy Awards. Faye Dunaway Dunaway's career began in the early 1960s on Broadway. She made her screen debut in the 1967 film The Happening and rose to fame the same year in Bonnie and Clyde. Her most notable films include Little Big Man, 1970 and other. Goldie Hawn rose to fame by becoming a regular on Rowan and Martin's A Love Inn. Due to her likable and approachable personality, she began landing roles in more extensive comedic productions such as There's a Girl in My Soap and Butterflies of Green. Joan Collins made debut as a beauty contest entrant in Lady Godiva Rides Again, 1951. Her big break came when the rank organization signed her for a major role in I Believe in You. In 1981, Collins was offered a role in new soap opera Dynasty. Jamie Lee Curtis' career in Hollywood has spent more than 35 years. She made her film acting debut in 1978 as Laurie Strode in the horror film Halloween. The film established her as a screen queen and she appeared in a string of horror films in 1980. Kimila Kim Basinger began her acting career on television in Los Angeles in 1976. Hailed as a sex symbol of the 1970s and 1980s, Basinger came to prominence for her performance of Bond girl Domino Pitacci in Never Say Never Again, 1983. Catherine Bach. Bach's first screen appearance was in the murder mystery Midnight Man in 1973. She is known for playing Daisy Duke in the television series The Dukes of Hazard. While she was staring Daisy, her legs were insured for $1 million. Morgan Fairchild achieved prominence during the late 1970s and early 1980s with continuing roles in several television series in which she usually conveyed a glamorous image. She played the role Jenna Wade in the soap opera Dallas in 1978. Erin Gray is best known for her roles as Colonel Wilma Deering in the science fiction television series Buck Rogers in the 25th century and as Kate Summers Stratton in the situation comedy Silver Spoons. She played Captain Beth Grant in Pandora. Phyllis Davis appeared primarily on television. She was notably a co-star with the cast of the dramatic series Vegas. She acted out the role of the villainous Tanya Walker in its pilot installment Night of the Phoenix. Davis died of cancer on 2013. Linda Carter is best known as the star of the American live-action television series Wonder Woman in the role of Diana Prince. Wonder Woman, based on the DC comic book, fictional superheroine character of the same name, which aired from 1975 to 1979. Stephanie Powers, best known for her role as Jennifer Hart in the American mystery series Heart to Heart, with Robert Wagner, which aired for five seasons from 1979 to 1984. Powers and Wagner later reunited for eight Heart to Heart TV movies in the 1990s. Cheryl Ladd, best known for her role as Chris Monroe in the ABC television series Charlie's Angels, in which she was hired for its second season in 1977 to replace Farrah Fawcett Majors. Led remained on the show until its cancellation in 1981. 
Sophia Loren was one of the most recognizable stars. She was named by the American Film Institute as the 21st greatest female star of classic Hollywood cinema. She is currently the only living actress and the highest ranked living person on the list. Lydia Carnell is the gifted actress who has extensive theatrical, film and television experience. She is best known for her role on the ABC sitcom Too Close for Comfort. She was the voice of Honey in Hagar the Horrible, Hagar Knows Best. Victoria Principal originated the role of Pamela Barnes Ewing of the CBS TV series Dallas. She spent nine years on the long-running series. Afterward, she began production company Victoria Principal Productions, focusing mostly on television films. Jacqueline Smith began her career in 1969 in television commercials. Smith is best known for being Kelly Garrett in all five series of Charlie's Angels. She was seen having her own line of eggs heads in the Superstore in the Fat and the Furious episodes. Heather Thomas is actress, author, who co-starred as Jody Banks on the TV series The Fall Guy. Thomas started acting at age 40, when she was one of the hosts of a series on ABC called Talking with the Giant, where she interviewed celebrities. Sigourney Weaver is considered to be a pioneer of action heroines in science fiction films. She is best known for her role as Dana Barrett in the Ghostbusters films and Alan Ripley in the Alien film franchise, which earned her an Academy Award nomination. Susan Sarandon has received an Academy Award. Sarandon began her career in the film Joe, 1970 before appearing in the soap opera A World Apart. She co-starred as The Last of the Bells and in 1975 she starred in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Jodie Foster is best known for her role as Clary Starling in thriller Silence of the Lambs. She also played Eleanor Arroway in thriller Contact and played in comedy film Nimes Island. She is also the founder of the production company Egg Pictures. Farrah Fawcett rose to international fame when she starred as private investigator Jill Monroe in the series Charlie's Angels, 1976-1977. Fawcett began her career in the 1960s. During the 1970s, she appeared in numerous television series. Kirstie Alley first achieved recognition playing in the film Star Trek II, The Wrath of Ham. Ali played on the NBC sitcom Cheers, receiving an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe in 1991 for the role. Ali received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Nancy Allen came to prominence for her performances in several films directed by Brian De Palma in the 1970s 80s. Her first major role was as Chris Harkinson in Brian De Palma's film adaptation of Carrie, 1976. Allen retired from acting in 2008. Bridget Bardot, famous for portraying sexually emancipated person with hedonistic lifestyles, she was one of the best known sex symbols of the 50s 70s. She withdrew from the entertainment industry in 1973, but she remains a major popular culture icon. Jane Seymour, best known for her performances in the James Bond film Live and Let Die. 1973, somewhere in time 1980, East of Eden 1981. She has earned an Emmy Award, two Golden Globe Awards, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Raquel Welch's unique film persona made her an icon of the 1960s 70s, breaking the mold of the archetypal flex symbol. I found this photo on the internet where it was stated that it was Raquel Welch, but I want to prove you that it isn't right. Now Raquel Welch looks like this. Sally Field is the recipient of various accolades, including two Academy Awards, three Primetime Emmy Awards, two Golden Globe Awards, and a Screen Actors Guild Award. Her movie career escalated during the 1970s with starring role Stay Hungry, 1976. 
Linda Blair is best known for playing the possessed child Regan in the horror film The Exorcist, 1973, for which she was nominated for an Academy Award and won a Golden Globe. She is establishing herself as a sex symbol in the film Roller Boogie, 1979. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.